Hi, hello. For my essay, I wrote about religion and democracy. So I wrote, um, I think it's much easier for someone's opinions to change on ideas like religion and democracy when they aren't already committed to them. Um, so for me, I haven't really been committed to either. So I think it's easier for my opinions to change. But I used to see government and religion as completely different things that weren't related, even though they often governed the same body of people. Um, I didn't notice the similarities that I see now. But that being said, I still think they are different things. Democracy is not a religion and they are separate. But prior to college, I became more comfortable with the idea of not being religious and in my stance that religion has historically done more harm than good for humanity. Um, this hasn't changed, if anything, the things we learned in class only further reinforced this idea that I had. For example, the witch hunts, the crusades, the 30 years war, which are just very negative historical events that are rooted in religion. Um, but the part of the aspect of religion that did change for me is realizing how much it drew people together and kept people together, especially large groups of people. Um, it gives people a set of shared morals to live by, which I think is important because that allows for a lot of people to stay together and be united. Um, on the other hand, my perceptions of democracy have changed in a less positive way. So even though I wasn't truly devoted to democracy my entire life, it was my norm. So I was still just largely indifferent to it. Um, so I generally accepted it because it was all I knew. But I think after analyzing the things we have in class and with David the Savage, he writes, democracy itself occurs naturally among humans, even if it is far from inevitable. Um, I think because he says that democracy is natural to human nature, that it proves democracy isn't actually as innovative and such an efficient system of government as we might think. Um, but I think when people are truly devoted to to democracy, it has a lot of the same effects as people that are devoted to religion. So for example, with in Julius Caesar, Shakespeare, when Brutus betrays Caesar and he says, if then that friend demand why Brutus rose against Caesar, this is my answer. Not that I love Caesar less, but that I loved Rome more. So he justifies his actions to the Roman people with their fear of a monarchy or dictatorship. Um, but that being said, I think even in the modern US or other democracies, it's corrupt, it's corrupt like any other form of government. I don't believe there's a perfect system of government. So I think democracy is no exception to that. Um, but in discussion of both religion and democracy, I think I found it interesting how just how much more effective religion is at keeping people together. I think this is because people tend to distrust one another and therefore the people that run a democracy. But with religion, there's this either one or more holy figures that are perfect, all good, all righteous. So people truly believe they can do no wrong in believing in religion. So I think that is partially why religion is so much more effective at keeping people together. And even with other systems of government, like a monarchy, even a monarchy has takes advantage of religion to keep people together because a lot of monarchs are considered to be holy figures or descendants of them. So then people truly, truly believe that they are doing good by following their monarch. Um, but that being said, overall, even though my viewpoints have only changed a little bit, I still think the foundations of democracy and religion don't mesh. So therefore they are separate things. Bye.